Hi everyone. I believe everyone can hear me well and um, let's get started. Welcome back to another product um, webinar. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Product Webinar produced by Advent Tech Australia. My name is Alan and I look at the channel Business Management Underline Industrial IoT. So today I'll be giving a full insight scope of how Advent Tech Industrial Age AIGSM platform is actually in a place that's fully utilized by NVIDIA JSON technology. So um, there will be a couple of different um, uh, semi, um, I would say demonstration videos along with this slide. So let's get started. Okay. okay. So in the previous presentations of the webinars, our presenters have introduced a number of advent tech um, um, ATX servers and IPCs or in the fanless pieces in associate of a number of uh, of different NVIDIA GPU card across in GTX, Quadro or the Tesla to form as advent tech AIPC that mainly underlying um, Intel Core i's um, solution. But on the other hand, adjacent which is actually family. It's the Jason family was actually launched in um, the late April of 2014 with first development board known as Tegra TK1 and then TX1, TX2 to Xavier in 2018 and then Nano in the 2019. What well, the technology they actually bring it up is um, to have a system on module, which is um, um, including the CPU, the GPU, and the CPU is playing underlying the ARM systems, the CPU and the GPU, the RAM, and also the EMC flash, along with Ubuntu OS. And Adventa is one of, was one of the only few vendors on the global scale to be selected to actually with full coverage of the entire family from TX1, TX2, Xavier, and the Nano to form us HAI system. So if we look at the reason why does why does NVIDIA want to come up with um, JSON um, 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 technology? I mean, they have a huge market share in the GPU. Why they bother to step their hands and the foot in the area of the CPU? There's a couple of key reasons. It's all come down to the trend of the technology and in association with low power consumptions. On the left hand side, you can see that the, the, in the traditional Intel platform solutions, that's a CPU comes with the memory, storage, and the GPU. And a CPU takes about 35 to 65 voltage as the power consumption. A GPU, let's say the RTX or the GTX, is at least 250 or 300 watts as power consumption. Adding up everything together, regardless if it's a fanless or a fan-based system, it could easily go up to 500 watts to 600 watts as a for, the, for the entire system. So the result of that is going to be very bulky in terms of the exterior design. On contrary, for JSON platforms, the technology that JSON brings up is called the BSPs or support package. That means that's including the BIOS, the driver, the Ubuntu OS, or on the single carry board in associate in conjunction with the all the peripherals and also the hardware. So that results in a very low power consumption because the the consumption of the nano CPU takes about five to ten watts. And the Xavier is about 10 to 30 watts. So in the entire system, it's actually resulting to about um, about 30 to 50 watts for an entire platform. The low power consumption results also a small form factor on the thermal as well. So that can actually bring down the entire design as to suitable for the HAI system. Another reason will be also the semi and wide temperature. In a traditional MIC 7700, where you guys have heard Shilash presented yesterday, the operation temperature is about 10 to 40 degrees. On the JSON AIH platforms, the, the operating temperature is minus 10 to 60 degrees. So it provides a much more ample rooms in the area of the wide temperature. Now let's look at the family and the better offering in terms of all these JSON boards. So uh, MIC 710, which is using the JSON Nano, is classified as light AIH. It's using four core ARM 57 um, CPU. A 720 AI, which is using a TX2 technology that consists of four core ARM 57 plus two core um, Denver 2. I have the full table 
there, so you don't have to bother to actually um, take it down. And 730 AI, which uses the high-end machine visions area that consists of a core on Kamel, which is classified the highest range for um, 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 of of the MIC um, 730. And uh, by looking at the voltage, it actually shows up and on the bottom underneath there. 5 to 10 watts, 10 to 15 watts, 17 to 15 watts, and the 10 to 30 watts. That's consisted of the entire carry board. And the Xavier NX is actually the newest addition that consists of a six core by using Kamel, arm Kamel, but also in the size of the nano. So that's fitted into a 710 AIX box, which is classified the smallest of the MIC 710 range. So not uh, if you look at the application field for JSON products, right? It plays horizontally in between the H AI system and the AI MVR. More or less, it cross from industrial manufacturing, traffic monitoring to the indoor, such as casino or the healthcare. So what it does is basically AI represents um, 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 image um, algorithms, deep learning of analytic of those images. So one way or another, it will capture, interpret, analytic, recognizing the images and move on to the next level. In terms of the JSON system roadmap, now I'll spend a bit of, bit of more time here because it consists of the whole series that we are having of to offer. Not all the MIC 710 or 720 or 730 range consists of the PoE port. Only 720 AI consists of one PoE port. 710 AI and 730 AI consists doesn't consist of any PoE port, but consists of the IDOR that allows the customers to add on um, um, more flexibilities in terms of the cameras or in terms of the peripherals that they need on the down, down the road. The IVA uh, IV and the IVX represents uh, the MVR. So these are completed in the rec mount and the fan base consists of at least a PoE port. A 710 AIL that you see a bracket with, and also along with the 730 AIL in the bracket, along with the ODM, that's actually these two SKUs are classified as a hidden SKU. The reason why the reason why I said it's a hidden SKU is because it's not coming off as a, as a standard product. It's coming off for the ODM range for customer to have a very a trial and on a trial for a very basic function of the AI range of the nano range and also the Xavier range. And then we can probably working on a flexibility to do an additional ODM or the OEM from there. Hey, moving forward, this is a copy of comparison of the JSON modules. On those CPU and the GPU, I wouldn't be touched too much of it. It stays on there. But the area that I want you to draw your attention will be the video encoding and the video decoding. It goes frame by frame. And without adding the RTX or the GTS GPU car, you can see how powerful it is, goes frame by frame. And if we put out in the, um, um, a GPU language of the comparison or the equivalent or the equivalence, the um, Xavier is equivalent to the GTX and the RTX of the 1080 and the 1080 Ti, and the TX2 is about 1050 Ti. Yeah. The following slides will be changed, will be looking at the detail of the 710, 20, 30 AI, and along with the MVR. So the first one is the light age AI system under the 710 AI. A JPEG SDK is actually the most comprehensive solution for building a, a, an AI application. It uh, consists of the latest OS image of the JSON products, along with the libraries and the API samples, de 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 developer tools, and the documentation. Now. This will require the customer to download directly from the NVIDIA um, website and only, only recognize with the JSON product. Yeah, the detail of the specification of the product, fairly straightforward. We have one idol that allowing customer to use Advantech idol solutions. And then with onboard 4G RAM and the eMMC flash at a 16 gig, it runs the Ubuntu 18.84 uh, perfectly. With along with the four core ARM and also the Maxwell um, NVIDIA graphic cards. Yeah. So this classified the light age, the entry level of the AI system. And the 720, which is all purpose age AI system, because the reason why we call it all purpose, because it comes as one PoE port and can connect with a single cameras, regardless is IP camera or the, or the machine vision camera. And then just like look at the spec of the 720 AI. Again, 
once it consists of the PoE port, it doesn't have the room for the I door. But on the other hand, it has a very um, unique function at OTG to go and also an, an enablement for the internal USB port. These are the video that uh, how to recognizing by all the different V codes that's running by 720 AI. Move on. Now, 730 AI, which is empowers machine regions that's classified on the highest end by using the eight core on um, Carmel. So it goes on to fully suitable for the machine region and the high end transportation along with the medical. Again, these are the design of the, um, the spec design of the 730 AI. It consists of the IDOR again, and then also additional space for the storage of the hard D. 730 AI is classified as the fifth by utilizing the A core. So it will be very perfectly in the area for the medical image. That's on all sorts of regardless is diagnostic or detection of the analytic. These are the real time the AI polyp detection. It's a little bit a little bit gross, but I think you know you guys get the point. <laughs> Look at the iModule expansions. 730 AI is the only model that's actually compatible with all these um, the MIC iModule that's produced underlying the original MIC family. And uh, because it runs on the Ubuntu, so do check with us on the design of that because we might need to run, again, the backsport package design services on the different type of the iModule. IDOR again, I want to be too much on that because you have heard previously a lot of the IDOR. But again, do check with us because the majority of the IDOR are actually on the Intel base, but we can actually turn that into the, uh, the acceptance with Ubuntu once we have done the BSP design for it. Now, let's move on to the MVR sections. It's over the 730 IVA and the 710 IVA. MVR is, is literally replacing the, the traditional MVR that's with the AI capabilities that's classified in the indoor and also um, on the numerous regards to smart city, logistic, casinos, or any manufacturing places as long as it's indoor. And the AI seems that the Deepstream SDK is actually the closed source SDK that can be used to build end-to-end -end AI power applications to analyze video and the sensor data. And uh, this is actually only classified for the, uh, the IVA systems so by using Xavier and the Nano. Look at the design and the specifications. Each one of these, the, the, the IVA, the IVX systems can see also a port the, as a PoE. That's why we need the additional power adapters and it comes with a fan base, now that instead of fanless. This is uh, the 730 IVA by using the six cores of the Carmel, the VA.2. Yeah. These are how the 710 by attaching eight cameras simultaneously. As you can see, all these, um, the, uh, the square of the different colors representing the recognition of and the capture of the, diff of the different objects and the people. Okay. And now we we'll touch on the application software. The application software is actually two areas that we'll be looking at. The first of all, the AI SDK represents a smart city that comes into um, the, such as facial recognitions, object detections, um, gender identifications, etc. This is purely for the MVR area or a bit of AI area. Now on the left, on the right hand side, which is AI Navi. This is purely for uh, factory four for um, um, image inspections, which is which AOI represents automatic optical inspection. And these two software are additional software that's Advantech create and co-developed together with the two different third party and required to be purchased separately if customers interested. Now we also come up with a small um, uh, AI Navi kit Ashley uh, as a demo kit to show how it actually works.
Okay, so let's move on to the lending case studies. The two case studies I like to show, and along with not the red video from case studies, but you will get the point as a relevance videos for those two case studies. The first one will be the transportation back in Taiwan. It provides three different cameras. It's actually with the cameras and the traffic lights connect to the MIC 720 and then um, provide the end to end data flows. The data will actually capture send it to the Sky 6, um, 6100, which is Sky Silver PC, along with an additional GTX or the RTX card that to do the deep learning and the analysis. So how does it work in the end? Will be something look like this. Uh, hold on, I just need to get the video going. Well, yeah, it's actually we can see the objective is actually being capturing um, on, on the traffic lens um, to determine whether it's car or motorcycles. Also underlying the night on the night weather and also the harsh weather. It can also be captured perfectly. Oh, the second case study will relate to the AOI, which is the, the, the optical of the, the automatic optical inspections inside the factory floor. The 720 again again attaching with the machine vision cameras and sorting out um size and shape of the cookies inside the factory floor and connecting to the end will be the high performance uh, server pc along with rtx 2080 cards to do the back end analysis so um it's not exactly the the cookie factory but you get to the point about the how the line balance optimization is actually involved inside the production floor okay so as for the wrap up why Advantech? Why choose Advantech MIC? There's a couple of different points. First of all, we provide the whole systems instead of the partial. Uh, the JSON family is, is actually allowing a different distributors to, to actually distribute just, just, just the JSON board. But Advantech, like I said, is one of the only few vendors who actually come up with entire systems for entire family. And on the other hand, with the high with high level of the development resources, regarding from the hardware perspective or the software perspective, again longevity we provide five to seven years as a whole entire systems instead of just the boarding levels on the two to five years, and not to mention the largest wise and RM wise we are on the on the global scale, along with the revisions of the control of the products that we're fooling can be done by the in house. So basically, these are uh, a, a fairly um, 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 comprehensive introduction for the MIC AI family series. So any questions that you might have?